The following is a Marin History Museum presentation. For more information, please visit us online at marinhistory.org. In October 2011, the Marin History Museum invited the Ghost Explorers, a paranormal investigative team, into the museum's home at the historic Boyd Gatehouse in San Rafael, California. For years, the Victorian-era home has been rumored to house a lively atmosphere with strange occurrences and unexplained bumps in the night. Something was certainly going on at the Boyd Gatehouse. So the Ghost Explorers team did a paranormal investigation and asked, could the Boyd Gatehouse really be haunted? The Boyd Gatehouse is a Victorian Gothic revival style home. It was commissioned by Ira Cook and built by San Rafael builder Adam Murray in 1879. The home is on the U.S. Department of Interior's National Register of Historic Places, and since 1959, the Boyd Gatehouse has been home to the Marin History Museum. Ira Cook built this historic home to serve as a guest house to the family mansion next door, known as Maple Lawn. Cook came to San Rafael in 1874, following his gold prospecting sons. Then tragically, in 1880, Mr. Cook died from injuries he received in a fall at the reservoir on the Boyd Estate. Two years later, his son Dan died of tuberculosis. It seems suddenly, death was all around the Boyd Estate. In 1883, John F. Boyd, a business partner of Ira's sons, married Ira Cook's granddaughter, Louise Luis's wedding present from the Cooks was the entire Maple Lawn estate in San Rafael. John and Luis Boyd settled in on the estate and had two sons and a daughter, Seth, John, and Luis. Then tragedy struck. One summer morning in August of 1901, young Seth didn't come down for breakfast and was found dead in his bed. Just eight months later, his younger brother John Jr. died. The Boyd family decided a fitting memorial to John and Seth would be to donate the parkland in the old Victorian gatehouse, where the children often played, to the city of San Rafael. The old gatehouse soon became the home for the families and children of the superintendents of the Boyd Park grounds. From this time, four deaths are known to have occurred in the Boyd gatehouse. Two children of gatehouse superintendent Albert and Ethel Knowles each died there in 1930. The Knowles' 14-year-old daughter, Violet May, died in the house on February 26th. Their infant daughter, Betty Jane, died in the house on September 2nd. Albert and his wife, Ethel, also died in the home. Ethel in December of 1941, and Albert just 13 months later. From that point on, the house was said to have a lively quality. <laughs> With so much history and tragedy surrounding the old Victorian gatehouse, the museum brought in Ghost Explorers, an Oakland, California-based paranormal company, to investigate. The Ghost Explorer's job is to ascertain and research existing claims of paranormal phenomena. The museum wants to know, what's going on inside these gates? The investigators use six different digital voice recorders, instruments measuring electromagnetic fields and temperature fluctuations, as well as video cameras and handheld infrared still cameras strategically placed in the rooms throughout the house. They began their investigation on the first floor. Today, the bottom floor of the Boyd Gate House includes a multimedia room, activity room, and a kitchen. There were numerous noises in the room, such as knocks and unidentified noises, as the investigators asked questions trying to elicit some type of response with whatever may be present. The second floor rooms were investigated next. The main floor of the museum includes four galleries of exhibitions and a museum store. This floor was the main living quarters. 
several investigative sessions were done, one of which captures this unexplained orb of light as it shoots down the staircase. And on this piece of audio, the investigators can be heard talking downstairs while an open mic upstairs captures what sounds like someone blowing into the microphone. There was no one present on the second floor at the time of this incident. Well after midnight, their investigation moved on to the third floor of the gatehouse, where some of the more interesting events of the evening took place. The top floor is now museum offices, but before the museum, these were the family bedrooms, where they lived, played, and died. An infrared video camera on a tripod, along with audio recorders, helped capture what happened as the investigative team asked questions, directed at an unknown child who is said to have been seen by others in the past. It's unusual to hear voices during these investigations, so the investigators were caught off guard at the sound of this voice, captured on a voice recorder as well as the camera's audio. Listen closely. You hear the investigator say, I'm going to put this little box down, followed by what appears to be a childlike response. All right, I'm going to put this little box down. That was outside, right? I hope so. I hope so. That was pretty darn quick. That was kind of young sounding, too. Mm -hmm. Is that you? You talking to us? <laughs> that was weird. Listen again. Is this the sound of a child responding? All right, I'm going to put this little box down. That was outside, right? The investigators cross-checked the other audio recordings set up throughout the house to pinpoint where the noise came from. They determined it came from this floor. As the investigative team was wrapping up a long night, an unidentified female voice is captured on the audio recorders. This brief singing voice was captured as investigators were breaking down equipment and was not heard at the time it was captured. Listen again closely. So what is going on at the Boyd Gatehouse? The Ghost Explorers team can't say for certain. However, there are possibly some past memories playing themselves out in the house and making themselves known. So the question remains, is the Boyd Gatehouse haunted? You'll just have to visit and see for yourself.